Yo, 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 what is going on, you guys? It's Nasso here, back with another video, and I'm sorry that uh, there was a bit of a delay on my last videos. Um, it's because it was my 21st birthday uh, on Thursday, so um, I took a few days off just to like celebrate with family and stuff. Um, so I hope you guys understand, and uh, we'll just get straight into the deck profile. Um, basically, uh, I went to locals again on Saturday and ended up coming first place again uh, with Virtual Worlds. Uh, still really enjoying the deck. And uh, I learned a lot this tournament um, in terms of like what's needed in the deck, what's not needed in the deck. Uh, because at the moment I'm just using Locals as like a testing ground as to how good the deck is. And um, I'll talk about the extra deck at the end, because that's where the main changes are, are gonna be coming. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the main deck. I don't think there's anything I would ever touch in the main deck uh, at the moment until like cross out comes out probably, uh, because I think the main deck is, is pretty much exactly where I want it. Um, obviously, you will get the occasional bricky hands, uh, but I feel like it's as consistent as it possibly can be. So that's where the main deck is. Um, but we'll get straight into the video. And then uh, I'll explain some of the changes that are going to be coming to the deck and what I learned about the deck from this tournament as well. And then I'll also explain my matchups as well. Uh, so first off, uh, I play three Lulu still, three Nian, three Lao Lao, uh, three Lili, and three Chi Chi. Um, obviously playing three of everyone. Uh, don't play two Nyan, uh, you need the extra normal summon, uh, just the extra name is what's needed. Because uh, you basically need to draw like Nyan plus any of them for combo. Um, or like uh, any any of the normal summons basically, plus a one you can special summon so you can send the spell. Um, it's like pretty much full combo, so yeah, uh, Nyan's really good. Uh, still the two Ash Blossom, two Nib, three Gamma, one Driver hand trap lineup. Um, I feel like these are like the best hand drops. Um, I didn't want to commit too heavy to a Nibiru um, and like play like three Nibiru and then something else because uh, some matchups Nibiru is not good and then I didn't want to commit too heavy to the Ash Blossom and like take out the Nibiru and put three Ash Blossom in um, because like there's some matchups that Ash Blossom's, Ash Blossom just does not good against like Dragon Link it, this does virtually nothing really. Um, unless you draw it with, like, one of the other two hand traps. Uh, so I just wanted, a, like, a blowout card against combo, and then, like, a decently good card against, like, everything else. Um, and that's what I went for. And it worked out really well. Um, I do wish I could find room for the third Ash and the third Nib. Uh, but honestly, I think the deck would just lose a lot of consistency by trying to play that. So, um, I'm just not going to be playing that. I think, uh, the... Seven hand drops that I'm playing, uh, it's, it's just enough. You don't see it too much, and you don't see it not often that you just lose going second. So it's alright. Uh, three City, obviously, and three Quinlong. Uh, these cards are amazing. Opening up one of these in your hand plus a uh, special summon is like full combo as well. Uh, so they're really good. And it allows you to not use your normal summon, so you're laughing really. Uh, then for the generic spells, uh, three desires, because it's the best card in the deck. Uh, just a plus one for free is just so, so strong in this deck. And Nyan just makes this card ten times better. Uh, three triple tax. Just allows you to go second. And if your opponent does decide to hand trap you, you can just use this to either look at their hand to get rid of their second hand trap. Or uh, draw cards. So or maybe even steal them on, depending on like uh, who you're playing. Or like what matchup you're playing. Uh, going second, stealing them on, just r like ripping out and negate off their field is so, so strong. And um, although you can't do much with what you take, uh, because it like kind of has to be like a three or a six or a nine for you to be able to use it. Um, what you can do is what I was doing was just like tribute summoning a Lili or a Lao Lao. Uh, so that way your opponent doesn't get it back in the end phase. So uh, that's just something to know. Um... And then for like the best one of uh, teleport uh, called by an NF star. Uh, this was a reborn. Um, I decided to put an NF star just because I wanted a more consistent going first first card. Because like once reborn's good, 
helps you play through stuff, but you have to draw a playable hand for it to be good. And um, I think Upstart just gets you to those playable hands a bit more. Um, it's a, like Mathematically, I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but um, it was alright. I liked it today. Uh, just making the deck as consistent as possible was like pretty much my, my only goal. Uh, and then two trap, because this is a brick. You, you don't need three, you only need two for every combo. If you're playing the deck correctly, you don't need three. There's literally never been a situation where I've needed a third. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to play the third. Um, then my field centre, the the OP field centre, the Lulu. Um, so good. Now the extra deck. This is definitely where a lot of the changes are going to be coming in, because honestly, um, I'll explain what happened at Locals, and then uh, you'll, you'll, pro you'll probably understand. Uh, so we'll just go through everything. So, one Shen Shen, one Vermilion, uh, one Croc, um, then one XX Saber Gotems, and two Cloud Castle for the Hand Loop. Um, then for the Sixes, one Status Charge Warrior, and one Coral Dragon. That's it for the Synchros. And then for the XYD, XYZs, I play two True King with Calamities, uh, VFD is too strong. Uh, one Enter Blafnir for the Hand Loop. Uh, one Zeus, one Gaia Charger, one Fan Fan, and one Break Sword. I'm pretty sure this is very similar to the uh, extra deck I played last week, I believe. Um, pretty sure it's exactly the same. I don't think I've changed anything. Uh, but honestly, after playing this week, I like. Um, the, there's going to be so many changes to this extra deck, but uh, I'll explain that at the end of the video. So I'll keep my extra deck to the side so I can uh, go through that after I go over my matchups and stuff. Now, the side deck was very weird, I think. Um, I think a lot of people weren't expecting me to play in this card, um, which I'll explain as we go through. Uh, so, Pank, just a you know, good card. Third nib, just in case. Uh, combo, this is actually really good. Uh, Retaliate and see. Now, the only reason I sided this in. Um, I like Puri on my side was for Prank Kids because uh, basically they activate Pandemonium, you special summon Retaliate and see and now every monster that they send, even if it's from their hand, because usually like you'll have a Shen Shen up so they'll send them from their hand. So my thought process behind it was like just special summon this and other cards they send from their hand they don't get the effect of either because uh, all the Prank Kids cards own monsters have to go to Grave to use their effect, uh, so by banishing them, they don't get anything, they just get their fusion on field, and then, yeah, that's it, that's it, pretty much. Um, it was pretty good, uh, I played one Prank Kids player, and I opened it, uh, so that was fun, um, but the rest of my hand was just pretty much unplayable, so it was just a meh. Uh, then two Lancia, uh, this is like really good against V World. Um just stopping them setting up the trap so that you you can actually stop the VFT is like decent. Um you can usually play around it if you play uh the deck pretty well. You can like navigate through it. Um but like again this shotgun to standby face you can use stuff like pot duality uh pot desires is um quite annoying. Uh so yeah I just wanted uh to run it just in case uh, we come up against a Banishing next as well. So it's really good. Uh, I do enjoy Lancia in the deck. Uh, two Doggeran. Uh, honestly, couldn't find my Gamma Seals. I have no idea where I put them. Uh, I just wanted two Kaijus, and these were the only Kaijus I could find. So these are the Kaijus I played. Um, obviously, these should be Gamma Seals. Uh, don't play this, because this is actually a dinosaur. So if you gave this to, like, a dino player... Um, then, yeah, they could, like, miss protect it. Uh, so don't play this. Play Gamma Seal. But um, these were the only Kaijus I could find for the event, and I wanted at least two Kaijus. Uh, then for the spells. Uh, one Duster and triple Forbidden Droplets. Uh, no Dark Ruler, because I just think Droplets is just infinitely better. Um, Dark Ruler is kind of meh, this format. Uh, droplets is, like, so much better. Um, if you don't know Droplets, then definitely play the Dark Rulers, but yeah. Uh, then for the Traps, Skill Drain, for if you go in first, you just side this in against like, any combo deck, you just auto-win. Um, and then triple evenly for like back row decks and like boardy decks that you can just uh, blow up with an evenly. 
uh, to just put the one monster on field that you can like because they'll they usually leave a monster and then you can just negate that monster with Quinlong. So it's like um, it's really easy to win after you evenly in this deck uh, if you evenly successfully. Uh, now let's just go through my matchups. So game one I came against Salad, um, two Odom. Uh, my hands weren't great, uh, but they weren't bad either. Um, so it was, it was pretty comfortably a 2-0. Uh, and then game two, I came against Prank Kids. Um, game one was really, really grindy. I ended up winning game one, uh, and we had like 10 minutes left. Uh, so we went into game two, and Prank Kids just burn and then gain life points. So he, he won on time. Um, he was probably going to win that game. Uh, but I think we could have take, uh, took game three if it went to game three. And we might have taken game two. Like, it wasn't guaranteed in his favor. But he, he was in, like, a commanding position. But we still had, like, a lot of resources in hand to play through stuff. Um, so it was anyone's game, really. And then, so that was a draw. And then we played against Infernobles in uh, the last game. Uh, game one, it was, like... Uh, really grindy. Um, I think we opened Gamma, uh, forced out his entire hand uh, because he didn't he didn't open that well. So we forced out his entire hand from just a Gamma, and he ended on a Charles Roland and a Rodon. Um, so he didn't have the Charles pop, but he did get the smoke grenade rip on my hand. Uh, so I started my turn with only four cards in hand. Um, but just staring down a board with no interrupts uh, was pretty easy to like navigate through. And um, and then game two was a really grindy game as well. Uh, we just sat on Zeus. Um, then he unicorned it back into the extra deck and then we made another Zeus. We made Zeus twice in this deck and just sat on that and went into time and just won from time really. Um, if, if we had a few more minutes to play it out, you probably would have won game two as well. But then uh, game three would have been a whole different game as well. So it, it was anyone's game, but we just won because of the new time rules. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it works against us sometimes. It works for us sometimes. It's just That's just how it is. Um, for the extra deck, uh, one thing I want to talk about is I actually made two King of Calamities once today. Uh, that was against the Prank Kids player. Um, and that was just like to secure game. Um, I made it in the first game when we was, it was like really grindy. Like we had already won and I just pretty much just put a Calamities down just so he would just scoop it up really. Um, we didn't need it at all. Uh, I, I made Gotham's once against the Infer player but like it, it didn't even matter. I made it in a situation where I just didn't need to. Um, honestly, you could literally just... This... Um, I think, yeah, these and these, like, I just never made these guys, uh, the whole tournament. Um, I just pretty much, like, sat on Zeus or sat on a Shen Shen plus Trap and just, I basically just out-resourced everyone. Um, that's how I won, like, most of my games, uh, just because... Like, I feel like that was just the best way to play the deck. Um, that's why I was testing this tournament. I just wanted to see how well the deck could cope without doing, like, uh, my, like, niche combo or uh, summoning VFD just in case VFD gets banned. Um, and honestly, even if VFD gets banned, the deck's still insane. Uh, the, the deck is still just really good. Uh, the amount of, like, advantage it can generate just from, like, these two cards plus Croc to get, like, three draws in a turn and stuff is is so, so strong. And, like, Zeus is just a phenomenal card. Um, these two are, like, the fan into this. Uh, while fan still has two materials, so you have a double send Zeus in a deck that's not Zeus. Uh, with, like, the trap protect and stuff. It's just... It is so, so strong. But, yeah. Um, honestly, the deck can just run like these cards. Not even play these cards. I'd probably play a Cloud Castle, and the two calamities. Probably gonna cut these three uh, for just some other cards that I'll talk about in probably another video now. Um, if you want to see what changes I made to the deck, then let me know in the comments. Um, if you haven't joined the Discord already, I recommend joining that because I'll put uh, like my thoughts and my deck lists on there as well.
and you can see other people's lists and see what other people play and see the tech cards that we're uh, like all thinking about and like bouncing ideas off uh, so i definitely recommend joining the discord if you haven't already and um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll uh, i'll catch you in the next one